what we're going to do a little video on red hot pokers or in this case probably orange hot pokers um, I'm not a great fan of red hot pokers because the foliage tends to always look a bit a bit uh, decrepit it's there, it's one of these plants that tend to be better in uh, in theory than in practice with one particular exception and this is a species one and it's called Nithophia. Well all red hot pokers are Nithophia. Now how do you spell it? K-N-I-P-H-O-F-I-A or K-F-I-P-H. It's not it's it's not one to spell if you're if you're anyway dyslexic, which I am a little bit. But anyway, this one is called Nithophia calescens. And what's good about it is the foliage. The foliage is very good, it's very yucca like, so even if it never flowered. Now we we um, even if it never flowered it would still be good and the flower is a bonus and another bonus the flower is held on a very thick stalk and not mad high so it doesn't flop or fall over it's always neat I'll go up close to it you can see what I mean now maybe it does it um, over the years it sort of forms a sort of a trunk that runs along the ground and all you do and I've never I haven't touched it since it was planted. You could, if you wanted to, maybe once every year. And you could remove all that old stuff. The truth be told, I'm, this is the 3rd of October, and you probably shouldn't do it uh, in the autumn because this will probably give some a little bit of protection from frost so you would do this in the spring you would give it a tidy up and that's all you would do and it's facing south and we have pine trees which suck a lot of moisture out and it's just perfect so if you want a plant for which gra which is grass like which has got silver foliage and it has a bonus of flowers as well really good flowers you cannot uh, do better than knife hope you call sense.